Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I'm working diligently on this Troy built. Came back from a customer that had bought it last weekend. Said it was running terribly, would stall, couldn't get it running. So, what, Chuck is his name. I want to give a shout out to Dirty Bernie's Garage. He just commented on this morning's video. Said, why don't you try the carb if the rubber and the needle is swollen it's only going to drip 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 into the bowl so that was my second line of troubleshooting i went with the new coil first which happens to be part number 590454 i took the coil out that was on this cleaned the carb, got rid of the gas that he had in there. He had some gas. It wasn't watery, but there was a crap load of debris in there. So I started out with fresh fuel. I used um, a clip on the bail bar, ended up letting it idle, and it did crap out after 30 minutes. I was able to get it going again with a shot of ether it ran it would conk out again so i went through that process four or five times same symptoms got it red hot this thing was running a really long time so i followed dirty bernie's advice and i um Put the old coil back on. I ended up changing out the carb. So while this thing was idling, I went over and, and um, got this Chuck's second machine going. We'll discuss that in a minute. So I ended up taking the carb off, put a China aftermarket on. It's, it was running 15 minutes. I just stopped it. So I'm going to continue that process. Chuck overfilled the oil by this much. I had sent it out the door with the right amount. He decided that it needed this much extra in a salsa jar. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Dino kind of likes all that oil. That's his ancestors right there. So this craft, he's a, a priming unit. <clears throat> So I took the carb off, same thing, went through the same process, got rid of the crap in the tank, got rid of what was in the bowl, it put it all back together, was not priming. So I went ahead and uh, put a little blue tape on the back side of the air filter backing plate to give me a nice seal. I was showing you a video of that before, and now the fuel hits the roof of the the carb when i prime it took off the recoil oil that up blew out any of the dust that was in here so this thing starts and runs rear wheel drive so he's going to get this back running and hopefully i'm going to put this thing through the test and he can pick this up tomorrow I, I want to make sure this is going to be fine. I don't want him to come in here. He's down in Nokomis, Florida, south of Osprey, north of Venice. Nokomis has a nickname. They call it Comatose. Nokomatose. There's some retirement communities down there, and half of them are in the Comatose state. Nokomatose. I didn't come up with that. phraseology but I know somebody who told me about it okay so what do we got to do prime this one
So for his inconvenience, I just might give him this back fixed because he had to come up here and drop this off and he's got to come back and pick it up. So that's my Saturday update. Neighborhood Scrapper brought me a John Deere D110. We got to look at that. Uh, another Scrapper two weeks ago now dro dropped off a Crafty. I still haven't done a video on that. And along with the D110, we have um, a running Lawn Boy 20 inch self propelled rear wheel drive battery start with a bag so we will discuss those two drop-offs um let me see i fixed a plastic recoil changed it out for a guy he had a baby uh, bones 20 he messaged me about a machine i said what, what's wrong with yours he said the pull cord spring broke. I says, bring it to me. It's a 10 minute fix, wait and I'll, and I'll do it and it's 30 bucks. So he showed up, I did it. He said, um, I've got 20 bucks. I said, that's good enough. So I was working about 15 minutes later, he came back with the 20. I says, oh, you didn't have to. He says, uh, I said, I, I got to owe you 10. He says, no. He gave me the 20, so I made 40 on the deal. Earlier this morning, guy bought a standard pusher for 140. He ended up bringing me um, another quantum machine. We'll discuss that. I gave a 30 trade-in value for it. It's a yard man. I'm looking at it now. Sticker's gone, but the... Um, I can still tell by the ID yard man. So a lot happened, and I'll give you one tomorrow, but this is the second edition of Saturday's video. I'm going to add more fuel to this. I had put some Marvel mystery in the first tank, and it kept stalling, but I think we had what Dirty Birdie says was a... a rubber needle issue so hopefully i'm crossing my fingers and bernie's right i'm going to let this thing keep idling and if it idles for more than 30 minutes without crapping and i think it's a home run we we um we licked it with a, a carb change so that's that's all i got i should probably tear this carb down and just check the the needle on it see if there's any imperfections tip you waitress and wait staff i appreciate you coming out adios amigos saturday afternoon update messing with these two quantums all is good a lot happening still selling still fixing still kicking See you.